everyone, it's Delicracy here and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. Instead of doing Sims furnishing, I thought we would do some real life furnishing today. So basically, I have been doing my makeup on my lounge room floor in front of a big mirror for so long. <laughs> and it was kind of getting ridiculous because I was getting makeup everywhere, all over the floor and on my couch and stuff. So I decided it was time to invest in a affordable vanity space. So this is what we're going to create today. I'm going to take you guys to Ikea with me because, oh my gosh, I love Ikea so much. And we're going to create this makeup station vanity space. And I'm going to show you guys how I used some new affordable items combined with some existing items I had to create something that's really nice and simple. So let's get to Ikea and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, so we are here at Ikea. Just up these stairs is the magical place, which is so amazing. I love Ikea so much. I know a lot of you guys don't have Ikea near you, but if you can ever go, it's just like an affordable furniture store where all of the furniture you put together yourself. And throughout the store, they have all of these rooms set up and it's just like, love it. Anyway, let's go find some vanity. I feel like this is the home I'm gonna bring my kids to when I'm like 55 and the whole family can sit in the lounge room with me on my really white couches and in my really homely looking home. Oh, I really like this. This is really nice. Oh, hey Deli, you do not need a couch. Let's leave this area before I spend all of my money. Oh my God. It's like a giant rocking chair. Okay, this is so comfortable. I need this. How much is this? Okay, maybe not. Oh, this room is so cute. I love the staircase. Hey guys, this is where you want to be. This is where we want to be. So we've just got to find a desk and draw unit that it's gonna just fit in my bedroom and look like a vanity. We're not gonna buy the actual vanity because I don't like the one they have, but we'll find something nice here. This is quite cute, but the drawers are so tiny. I feel like this is for kids. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be for me. This right here is actually a dresser that's available, but I just, I don't like it. It's not contemporary enough for me. It's just a bit too traditional looking, so. I'm gonna go with our desk look and make it look a little bit more like a vanity and get a separate mirror instead of buying it all attached. I actually already have this one. This is what you see in the background of my face cam at the moment. And this is really, really rickety. This one, this one's more expensive considerably, but I feel like it's a lot better quality. It has a gloss finish, so it's gonna be really easy to clean and it's just it just feels way more sturdy for me i think this is probably a good thing to spend more money on because i use it every day to put makeup on for my job so we're gonna get this one it's so exciting guys that is our ikea shopping done now we've just got to put it together and before i do that i'm gonna go get my hair extensions done so after i got all my things from ikea i decided to sleep on it for a little while and construct most of the table the next day hey guys it is now saturday and i've already started putting together my vanity it's kind of in pieces over here and I'm pretty excited to put it together with you guys and then put it in my bedroom. It's going to go just over here. Just where this blank space is. Uh, that's where it's going to sit. And then, yeah, it's in my bedroom. My bedroom's really 
messy and plain and I just haven't finished this part of my house yet. So we'll do that in another video, but this is where the vanity is going to go. This is all of the pieces. Oh my gosh, so many little pieces. And there's my pink toolbox. So let's get started. Putting together Ikea furniture is one of my favorite things, actually. I love putting together Ikea furniture because it's like a little puzzle activity. As long as it's not like heaps and heaps of furniture, if it's like one thing, I quite enjoy it. Once the desk was all put together or the vanity was all put together, it was time to decorate. The marble uh, jewelry holder slab I actually got from Country Road quite some time ago on sale. I think that was meant to be used in kitchens as like a chopping board or a serving board, but I thought it was so beautiful to show your jewelry on that that's why I decided to use it for. This lovely plant pot that I've used for my makeup brushes was actually a gift from one of Pat's sisters for Christmas. This little vase is from I think my grandparents' house. It's a vintage vase and it's really, really beautiful. I believe it's actually real crystal. So that's something that's very special to have on the vanity and to make it feel quite glam, even though it's a vase. For my makeup, I used a tray from Ikea as well as a tray I already had. And I just organized it into different makeup types. So my lipsticks, my lip liners, my foundations, my highlighters. Uh, and my palettes, they're all organized nicely so they're easy to get to and they're easy to see, which is a big change for me because I'm used to scrambling around on the floor looking for everything, so this is an absolute dream. Once I had put together everything, I still felt like something was missing in the space above the desk. So I decided to go back to Ikea and look for this gold hanger decoration that I'd actually seen in the catalog and I was so excited that there were only two left and I decided to create this kind of inspiration board slash memory board of nice Polaroid pictures I've enjoyed. little bit of fan art from one of you guys up there because that picture is just so adorable and I put my fold-up sunglasses on there I've hung some jewelry my beautiful um, Shiromura Super Mario eyelash curler which I cherish of course I had the mirror from Ikea which was new as well as the orchid plant from Ikea which was new um, I got this gold candle from my boyfriend Pat for Christmas. I believe this was from Country Road. The ice cube picture behind me, I'll link in the description down below, is from a local artist here, but I believe you can buy it online. I also grabbed a plastic drawer organizer from Ikea for a couple of dollars as well, just to slip in the drawer. And the chair I'm on I already had, and the pillow that's on the chair was from West Elm, which I'd already bought as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know if you enjoyed it by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this in the future. Comment down below any other video ideas you might have. I am needing to redo the rest of my bedroom so I'll probably film that for you guys as well as creative painting and digital artwork I am at the moment creating for my walls. I'll record that for you guys too. As always, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!